Joe McNamee, you're the Executive Director of European Digital Rights. We've been talking this afternoon about the new, uh, the work on the new EU uh, data protection rules. And the challenge there is to strike a balance between uh, protecting citizens' right to privacy, but also uh, allowing uh, companies to take advantage of the opportunities that uh, processing data offers. Uh, are we, is the EU get on track to get that balance right? Well, it's difficult to tell. The um, opinion committees in the European Parliament have tabled some rather unwise, we would say, amendments. Uh, so there's, there's quite a long way to go. The situation in the Council is quite fluid as well. I would say, however, that it's not a question really of striking a balance between uh, consumers and citizens on the one hand and businesses on the other. There's a shared interest in a marketplace which is predictable and provides security uh, and sustainability from a, a, a consumer perspective and from a business perspective. And um, do you see a very real danger that if we don't get the rules right that uh, consumers will be reluctant to share their data, that they will keep a tighter hold on their data? I think that's almost inevitable. And we, we see already in Germany with the data retention directive, there was an opinion poll which showed that people act differently in their use of telecommunications because they know the government has access to uh, long-term uh, records of, of when they called people where they were when they called them. Uh, if, if you imagine that your mobile phone company knows what you were doing this time four months ago where you were, but you wouldn't necessarily immediately know what you were doing today four months ago, it does create a certain degree of of concern for people that there's that degree of insight and that degree of insight into people's personal lives is going to grow exponentially. And you were talking about this afternoon and saying that the new technologies, facial recognition technology will completely blur the boundary between private and, and publicly available data. What's, is there one safeguard against that? What's the best safeguard against uh, what the challenges that new technologies are bringing down the line? It's a question today of understanding that in a year, in five years, in ten years, the amount of data being generated is going to grow exponentially. And either we have a trusted, predictable, sustainable legal framework where people feel comfortable that their data is not going to be abused and where they have control, or we end up in a situation where people are constantly double-checking and uh, worrying about whether any given piece of data uh, should be made available, should be put online or not. Okay. Joe McNamee, thank you very much. Thanks.